hello friends today in this tutorial i will basically show you a whatsapp bot which will automatically send messages to multiple contacts here using selenium library selenium is a web scraping library in python so let me show you the demo right here and when i launch this application python whatsapp.py so a application will launch right here guys so here you just need to first of all for the very first time just scan this qr code inside your uh, mobile phone so from which you need to basically do this so you just need to scan this qr code so once you scan this qr code guys you will be logged in and after that guys from the csv file it will pick out the contacts that you mentioned inside the csv file comma separated value and uh, a list of contacts would be there and basically one by one it will I have mentioned inside contacts.csv it will go to the contacts and basically it will send out a message right here it will type the message automatically you will see that it has sent this this message to this contact and now this will open the second contact guys you will see that now this will open the second contact here and now this will uh, send out the second message so this is happening automatically guys so i am not doing anything so it is running this using this python selenium script after that it will automatically close so this is really useful guys if you want to send uh, multiple messages to multiple contacts and uh, this is a really useful python selenium script a whatsapp automation bot script and the full uh, code of this script is given in the description of the video guys alongside with the directory structure if you need this source code you can go to the description you can purchase the full source code you can go to paypal and make the payment in united states or, or make the payment in indian rupees in stripe so let's start the tutorial guys so here you just need to make python uh, just make a whatsapp.py file just python and for this you just need the module which is uh, pip install selenium s e l e n i u m so this is a module that you will need guys after that you just need to make a file called as contacts.cs and right inside this file guys you need to mention the phone number from which you need to send out your message put a comma and then the actual message so you just need to repeat for every line this is actual phone number alongside with the international uh, country code so this is for america plus one you don't need to write plus here and uh, this is 55 so you need to and also write the international code for each country after that you just need to write the actual meshes that will be sent automatically so this is the format contacts.csv just make this file and now we will actually code the process so it's very simple we just need to import the selenium package from that we just need to import the web driver and from again selenium we will import the web driver common keys and from that we will import the keys module we will import time which is a built-in module and also we need to import the csv module as well so these are all the packages which are needed guys now we will initialize our selenium web driver like this web driver chrome after that we will basically have a base url and uh, the base URL for web, WhatsApp web is uh, web.whatsapp.com. So after that, we just need to go to this URL automatically so we can use the get method and simply pass base URL. So now if you basically launch this application, what it will do, it will directly open web whatsapp.pi. So here we just need to wait a little bit so that the user can uh, scan the QR code so we just need to wait for user to scan the QR code so depending upon your internet connection guys you can use the time module you can use the sleep method I will sleep for 10 seconds so what will happen now if you launch this application it will now wait for 10 seconds on this page so that user can generate this QR code on your mobile phone. So after user generate uh, scans the QR code they are successfully logged in. Now we will open that uh, contacts.csv file that we mentioned in the same directory and new line character we will actually do this line by line csv file. And we will actually read all the contacts which are mentioned here alongside with the messages. We will use the CSV module, we will read the file 
we will actually pass the csv file right here so we will read this file and we will actually have a for, a for loop for actual phone number and the actual message in uh, read contacts we will put a colon here so here we need to say phone number is equal to phone and message is equal to message like this so after this guys what we need to do is that we need to say same tab is equal to base url plus send question mark phone is equal to and then we will convert the phone number to string by using this phone number like this and now we will actually open driver dot get same tab so we will actually open this url one by one that you mentioned contacts.csv we will open this url question mark followed by the phone number so one by one so after you open this guys we just need to sleep for some time so we will sleep for eight seconds so that the message can be sent so now we need to actually send that message guys so what we can do is that we can say that content driver switch switch to active element so after that we will use the send keys method to actually send the message which is there this is actual message here this will be sent right here this will be entered in the input box automatically by using this method send keys after that we will press the enter key so now to press the enter key guys we have the send keys method once again and this is a constant here which is return return key is the actual enter key that you press on the keyboard so selenium will press this key automatically this will send out the message to the user So this is all ha happening in this for loop guys after that we will once again wait for again let's suppose 8 seconds you can all customize this waiting time guys according to your internet connection if your internet connection is fast then you can do that so now this is uh, over guys you can easily now test this application by running this command python whatsapp.py so at the starting of the video i already showed you how easy it is so first of all it will actually log in and uh, now it will actually go to the contacts that we mentioned one by one and it will send out the message so it is loading our chats here it is starting the chat it will do one by one so it will take some time depending upon your internet connection so just make sure that you have you can see it has opened that web whatsapp it will start this chat and you can see it will send out this message this is another sample message so this is the thing guys you can try out your own computer it will automatically close after that it has performed those operations you can cross check on your mobile phone after it executes this was the tutorial guys all the source code is given you can try out on your own machine if you if it doesn't work you can contact me comment on this video please hit the like button as well